Well, welcome back, James Harden. Nice to see you. Uh huh. We rocking with you. Okay. Well, first quarter, Harden, first shot of the game. There we go. Second quarter, again from deep, just showing off at this point. You guys miss me? Then Kyrie, really getting things going. Watch him with those handles. DeAndre Jordan, you there? You there? 132 114, your final. Harden getting the win and a triple double against his former team. The Rockets, by the way, have lost 13 straight games. It's not great. Uh, winner is the tribute because I'm sure Taylor was so excited to get to this. Just kidding. Just over 3,600 fans in the building. Some of them a fan of the idea of celebrating, and the other, some of them. Pretty much of the same hater mindset that Taylor carries. Uh, just not a fan, booing him throughout. But regardless, they all bore witness to the 29-point triple-double that James Harden provided on top of their heads. Yeah, great. Which leads me to loser Lucky 13. Now, on February 8th, the Houston Rockets had won 7 of 8. And I was blabbing on this program telling you how much I love the Rockets doing this out of spite with James Harden. Last night, they lost their 13th in a row to the eventual number 13 that's going into the rafters. Astros cheating, whatever's going on with the Texans, and this in Houston, you must be having fun, Houston sports fans. Tough. Uh, this was a fun finish. How about this one? In Philly, third quarter, jazz up three. Donovan Mitchell oh. puts and beat on a poster, gets the and one. Uh, six seconds left in the game. We got Embiid from three. Oh, put it up. I'm sorry, yeah. what? He had 40. 19 <laughs> rebounds. Dude was on fire, but less than a minute left in OT. Philly up five. So you see Donovan Mitchell, he missed the three. He's upset about the non-call on Simmons. Uh, takes it out mm -hmm. on the Gatorade jug, gets ejected from the game. Double teed up, 131-123, 76ers win that game. Before we get on ripping the refs, I want to acknowledge at least the greatness of the Sixers and winner in streak busters. Utah was 25-0 heading into this tilt when leading after three quarters. That streak ended courtesy of the fourth quarter and overtime that Philly put in there. Courtesy. I've scored them by 13 points in those two mm -hmm. periods, and so shouts to them. Now I concede the floor to Taylor, who will proceed the Yeah, and now you can just there. zip it over there because <laughs> lose me, officials. And I'm not trying to take anything away from the 76ers, but you, the officials, took this away from the Jazz. Now you went to replay on this replay and said that it was not sufficient enough evidence that the ball was out of his hands and he was out of bounds. So what happens afterwards? Oh, you give it back to Embiid in the 76ers who can hit a remarkable three, by the way, yeah. to then take the game to overtime. Oh, no, no. Let's compound it. <laughs> this is an offensive foul? An offensive foul on Mitchell? Huh? Yeah. Why have replay if you can't see? Why? <laughs> And you want to know why Donovan Mitchell was losing brain cells? The official's right there. He misses the travel. He misses the elbow. And then Donovan Mitchell hits the Gatorade like it's the official. And you know what? I'm not doing enough. Donovan, how mad were you? It's tough to, to go out there and see how we fight and compete and to have a game like that taken from us. And I'm never, ever one to, to, to blame a ref, to blame an official. I could say I, we could have done more, but this is getting out of hand. You know, there have been games like this that we've won. There have been games like this that we've, we've, we've lost, but this whole refereeing stuff and the way we're, we're nice, we don't complain, we don't, like, we don't get frustrated, you know, we fight through things. And the fact that we just continually get, get screwed in a way by this, you know, like we, we won this game, in my personal opinion, you know, but like I said, I'm going to give them credit, they won, whatever, cool. But like, this is, it's, it's the consistent thing. And, you know, the question is, can we can we do it? Can we sustain it? Are we for real number one? Like, yeah, the hell we are. And it's getting, it's getting ridiculous, KK, that this is this is what's happening. You know what I mean? We have a whole second half of the season to go and get ready for, but, like, I'm sick of it. To be honest with you, we all are. You know, and I think this is something that just, it, bite, it, it eats me. It eats at me, man. And it's, I don't, I don't y'all know what it is. We all know what it is, but it's, it's really getting out of hand. There's a point where he was like, am I going to take this fine? Should I say Am I going to take this fine? Am I going to take this fine? And then he just leaned all the way in. <laughs> but for Jazz fans and even Donovan Mitchell, you want to come on to this program? We are premium content. You can come <laughs> gladly right here and say whatever you would like. Because those three times that Trevor thinks you were sitting there going, hmm, should I take the fine? What you really wanted to say is, lose me, officials. Yep. Dear God, that is terrible. Tell us how you really feel. And I don't even like the Jazz.
Yeah. But what a dismount. <laughs>